<laughs> Hello, Gavin. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you very much. Cool beans. Uh, this is Gavin from Carbogen, and um, several uh, uh, of you might have remembered the name. Have you got it on your T-shirt there? Right? I have, actually, yeah. Sure. Superb. Yep, Carbogen, and this is the... Uh, the gentleman behind the promotional uh, new material called the U Diamond. Some of you had a few samples, but he's come along uh, today to show us some um, 3D prints that have been done by himself with this uh, U Diamond material. Come all the way down from from Norfolk. From Norfolk. But Carbonian's cool. actually a Finnish company. So. Right, superb. So <laughs> yeah, he's travelled down a couple of hours to get down here. So thank you very much for coming, Gavin. It's really good of you. Um, and I think some of you are going to be pretty impressed um, uh, with the actual carbogen, some of the prints that have been done. We certainly are. We printed, test printed ourselves and we, we were very happy with it. Um, but it's always good to see other people print with it and, um, you know, trying different prints rather than the uh, same test prints that we do. Because you get so many materials in, it's difficult to get through them all and do proper tests. So, um, and for your, your uh, motor car enthusiasts out there and, and there's certainly a few of you um check this out here so uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's rather, <laughs> rather big device sure. uh, this is part of the or most of the intake section from my car which is a 1969 reliance scimitar gte se5 <laughs> uh resto mod it has a 24 valve alfa romeo engine with a touch over 200 horsepower <laughs> it's about 50 percent more than the original uh, originally built it as a road car but i'm uh, gradually sort of going more and more towards the track focus on it so uh this part here is uh 3d printed with the nano diamond material uh, this is a little bit of a first attempt. It has been on the car. It has been running. Um, I've seen it, measured it up to about uh, 70 degrees centigrade. Still holds up well. Uh, I'm going to be doing another one with a slightly different angle and then and then enclose it as a complete cold air intake. Um, that's one part for the car. <laughs> and then uh, this is a fuel pump cover. So I've got a high pressure fuel pump which protrudes into the boot. So uh, need something to cover it. Uh, so why not uh, uh, something in um, great plastic finish. with a bit of a funky look? <laughs> and um, um, the machines that you printed this on. So uh, this is off a uh, uh, Copy Master 3D. It's actually mm -hmm. a 500 by 500 machine. Mm -hmm. The other part is a Flash Forge uh, Creator dual. Pro with the with the dual head. Smashing. Um, and they did, and, and those particular pins, can you remember what to, like resolution? Is so uh, most of the stuff I do at, at least at least 0.2 or 0.25 thickness, right. trying to get it as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. And what um, sort of speeds did you get up so, to? So um, this one, I think, is uh, the, the kind of highest printing speeds are, are set up to 80 millimeters per second. Right. I go up to 100 millimeters per second on the Flash Forge. Oh, okay. We have seen people with the right kind of machine go up to 500 millimeters per second, and it's mm -hmm. one of the strong points of the material right. that it's more thermally conductive than normal PLA, so you can print it very fast. Okay. Um, you can also yeah. sand it very nicely if, if sanding's your thing. Right, a bit like the ASA material. Yeah, yeah. and right. um, it's also, so it's, it's, it's more heat resistant, you can, Oh, when I say heat resistant, it withstands temperature better. It it, mm. it, it has a um, heat deflection temperature of 107 degrees or 125 oh, okay. if you anneal it. Ah, uh, okay. So you can anneal the yeah, material. You right. can, yeah. Smashing. And then but it gets it'll, pretty good. It'll yeah. run to about 107 yeah. without annealing. Well, that's yeah. quite good. That's quite high, actually. So this this is actually a uh, radius inlet piece that that's going... Uh, in the intake behind the throttle, so uh, this, by is, the look of it. <laughs> this, this, this is it's, it's been trial fitted actually. This sure. hasn't been run, but this has been yeah. annealed. Right. Um, so that's quite challenging for the material because I mm. think on shutdown that part of the engine will get up to at least a oh. hundred. So the, there's no force on it, but still uh, okay. don't really want it melted inside no. the and engine. And how did you just out of curiosity? How did you anneal it? So. Uh, I actually did it in my wife's oven. Oh, yeah, cool. No, that's fine. 110 done the same. degrees. 110 <laughs> degrees for um, at least an hour. Right. Uh, cool. is, is good enough. Superb. And not much shrinkage with the. Uh, so interestingly enough, it it grew slightly in X and Y and shrunk slightly in Z. Right. But the was uh, it a great deal? Is it mills? No, no. So uh, half mills. It was no. Uh, it 
it's nominally 18, 89 millimetres and it grew to about 89.3. Oh, okay. And, and, cool. and that was still good enough to make a fit. So right. uh, awesome. uh, that was okay. A cool. couple of little, I'm, I'm really trying to use the 3D printer like a power tool in the workshop as mm -hmm. much as possible. So this is a little tool for uh, adjusting the throttle stop, which is in an inaccessible position. So oh, okay. this just pops on and works. And did you design those? Uh, yeah, so this oh. is kind of like, uh, could I make something? So in the past, I would have you know, made something in the lab, welded something together. Yeah. Um, but now I pretty much look and say, okay, if I, you know, you can draw something like that up on the CAD in like 20 minutes, mm. and it's literally uh, 15 minutes to print. This is Imagine. another piece I needed to make a torsion spring. So uh, this was the right diameter mandrel to put it round. There's a piece there to hold it. So just put it on and wind mm. it round. I could have made something out of metal, but I'm, I'm just trying to see yes. uh, if I can use the uh, and it worked, 3D uh, printer as a, like a power tool. Yeah, for sure. And it worked like practical prints. Are, yes. Are always yeah, as, yeah. Uh, especially if they work. So that worked for a period of time before then it just softened. Uh, no, I mean, that, that worked. Uh, I only needed to use it once uh, and, and it, it did the cool. job. So uh, I could probably throw it away now, but, yep. but I won't. Um, cool. I also <laughs> had an idea. So you always need a 10 millimeter spanner next to the battery for working on the terminals. So why not have a plastic one, which also cool. has its advantages working on a battery. Um, and the, literally the day after I used it, I came across a need to do something on the live terminal. It was to do with someone's uh, uh, audio setup where we right. didn't want to disconnect the whole battery, but we needed to disconnect the amp line. <laughs> and uh, that works really well, actually. I didn't, didn't try the open-ended part, but that ring spanner... Um, and that, uh, what, what sort of um, CAD software are you actually uh, using? I'm using Onshape. Ah, right, and, okay. Uh, now you're finding it. I, I really, it's fairly new -ish. So I really like it. Yeah. Of course, um, you can, I think you can use it free. I've got a professional account, yeah. and, and the account I've got is $100 a month, mm -hmm. and that subscription doesn't exist anymore. They've changed uh, it. Right, okay. So, so you're finding you, it quite well. Yeah, if you're using yeah. CAD, then yeah. $100 a month is pretty good. The, yeah. the only problem is I'm not a professional CAD guy, so sometimes a couple of months would go past when you wouldn't use it. Right, and, yes. And you're still yeah. paying it, and, and right. you could never get your work really out of it. Yeah. So it's, but if you if you ended yeah. up doing a lot of CAD work all the time, yeah. it's worth it. In, in terms of, because I remember when Onshape first came out, um, well, it, impressive, very impressive. I thought, oh, how's this going to go? So you do like using it in I, terms I of... I do. I mean, it has to be said that uh, I think Fusion 360 has has captured more uh, market appeal, yeah. but uh, and, and that's got a much stronger uh, follower base. Yeah. But in fact, this this part, which which is is new, mm -hmm. um, I had this logo already in in the CAD as an assembly of different parts, and, and right. this is based on kind of reverse engineering a traditional overdrive badge mm -hmm. from a scimitar, and I wanted to change the size of it to fit this without going back to first principles. So I popped the question up on the Onshape forum and the yeah. Onshape help people came straight back and nice. said, give Thank us access you. to your file, we'll do it for you. And they explained Ooh. how to do it. So, so now I, I learned a new technique as well. So actually I was Good quite service. impressed by that. Especially if you're paying a hundred, is that a hundred dollars a month? A hundred dollars a month, yeah. yeah. Oh. So I mean, it's quite a lot for, for a hobbyist, but if you've got any kind of commercial use. Yeah, and as um, it grows, you know, at the yeah. end of the day, it's, uh, you, you never know where it's um, gonna go. So, can you show me those carabines? That yes, so this really is... Cool. Uh, uh, Some really good detail, and in terms of the actual finish, and of, have you done any, any post-processing in this at all? Uh, only just a little bit on the edges to take off perhaps a bit of elephant's foot. Um, so, interesting thing about this, the design isn't mine. It's a guy, I think he's called Charlie1982 on mm. Thingiverse. He's got one of these on Thingiverse as a free download, a link to his website where he's got a whole collection of these carabiners and some really clever design. And I was looking at it, I, I was looking for knickknacks that I could print to give away. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, you know, I could design a carabiner. But the more I looked at this, so um, this, uh, this is two pieces, but you can assemble it. Um, right, okay. It's, uh, you probably can't see, but yeah. it's got its own spring built in and then this screw piece. Everything prints without supports. It's got a little, nice little clip. So okay. you can separate that bit so that you can use it as a, like a key ring right. and, and put that in. Um, and design, I think he said in, in this size, it'll hold something like 25 kilograms. Oh, okay. um, 
obviously it depends on the material. This this would possibly hold more. I've got a picture on my um, sort of website and, mm -hmm. and Facebook with it with a whole car wheel and tire hanging off it. Right. Okay. Uh, it being the nano diamond material, it should be twice as strong as normal PLA. Obviously. Yeah. It depends how many layers you use. I think this yeah. is three layers and, and sort of 30% infill or something like that. But, okay. you know, it's pretty strong. Well, this is the whole point of you coming down to see us. And uh, yeah. as we said before, it's there, there's lots of materials on the market. And we've, we've seen over, it started to trickle in about a year ago in terms of changes in filaments. Yeah. You know, machines are at, uh, at um, desktop machines are at a stage where if you you start producing new hot ends for high temp filaments um, like E3D Online have, but everybody who's using the, the stock 3D printer are looking for the filaments that they can maximise on their printer. Uh, and we found a lot of the, the large manufacturers like Protopasta, like Polymaker, like Filamentum, and now Filamentum with their uh, Filamentum industrial range. Yeah that's where we're seeing that growth and yeah. we've seen it over the past year but more so in the past sort of six months so you know like any filament you, we, we do get a lot of people approaching us about filaments or oh, we've got this great filament it's, it's, it's perfect it will do exactly this and exactly that and sometimes there's some major limitations to them like they don't bridge very well you know you say they print high speed but they don't print high speed the, the, uh, but yeah. the, the if the U diamond does what it says on the tin, then you know it's it's a great material. So we want people to know about it. We want people to try it. We want people to actually give it a go and come back to us and tell us what you actually think about it. Um, Simple everyday application. So yeah. this is my own design of a bottle opener. Yeah. And. Uh, I've well, made and given away <laughs> quite a large number of these. Some sure. people told me it was the nicest bottle opener they'd ever used. And you designed this uh, also, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, so sure. if anybody wants one of these, yeah. uh, get in touch with me and I'll send you one. Uh, the design sure. is actually on Thingiverse uh, yeah. under the design name Fighting Talk. Sure. I think probably like, like that. It's my uh, yes, machine. brand from my imaginary world. <laughs> <laughs> the best, um, the best but world. Yeah, cool. um, and that, that definitely works. Cool. But not only that, Gavin, not only did you bring... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the beer. So would you like to see it working? <laughs> Look at that. Right, ready? Superb. There. Right. Cheers, man. Oh, we'll have to finish that now, Gavin. And What's uh, the time? Other, <laughs> other beers are available. <laughs> Oh, it's only four thirty. Uh, half two in the afternoon, fourteen thirty. Smashing. Oh, and coffee. Great, Gavin. That's superb. I'll probably get killed by the stellar, <laughs> stellar police for that. You got to try back. Um, well, yeah, do you want me to course. show these as well? Yeah, Tim? smashing. Thank so, you. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to use the U diamond filament as much as possible, but mm -hmm. particularly at the moment, it is only available in this grey colour. Uh -huh. uh, so I have a FlashForge Creator Pro, and uh, sort of upon some requests. Uh, started making up a couple of uh, car badges, so. And this uh, is for you, Joseph. Uh, Joseph Prusa, sorry, <laughs> Joseph. This is for you, Filamentum. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, guess this what? is a gentleman on the Scimitar forum by the name of Adam Sindri, who will put a Saab turbo engine in anything, uh, <laughs> and he's got one in a Scimitar, so it's now called Sabatar. And uh, this badge is based on the overdrive uh, graphics. So just put it in, it's uh, the ASA filamentum black and silver, um, mm -hmm. just set up. And it was my first time to try and use that uh, dual extrusion and it just worked perfectly nice. straight out of the box. Superb. This is um, a surround, if you've got a classic car where the ignition key goes into the dashboard, then uh, this is a bezel that fits around it and uh, says twist for noise. Some people did comment it could also be used as a nipple surround. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but, that's, could, but that's, that's another hobby. <laughs> I, I could probably more. Ooh, that's protective. Cool. Probably. See, ASA, put to good use. Um, maybe I'll just grab one filament out of the yeah, box. No while you're still, uh... So the all-important point mm -hmm. is... Uh, these yeah. will be available. So we showed these beforehand, and um, as I said, we gave out some samples, but um, Gavin has kindly come down and dropped uh, these extra spools off. So we'll be putting a post up later on about you being able to have 
some samples or half spools or quarter spools and see what you can do to come back, uh, come back with those with various prints and how you found them. Um, are they 175 or 2.85? Uh, 1.75. We have got 2.85 as well. Right. Uh, but these are all 1.75. So. Cool. And these particular spools are 500 gram spools. Yeah, and then we're going to do either a 750 or a 1 kilo. In fact, we, if you could poll people on whether they'd rather have 750 or 1 kilo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then also a 2.3 kilo for the industrial people. Right, okay, um, so that is coming. One of the interests seems to be using yeah. it for making fairly big parts, uh, parts mm -hmm. for things like moulds for composite tooling. Right. And that's partly because it, it's fairly good structural material. You can print it fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it's based on PLA, it doesn't warp like ABS, so you can print it in a big, big unenclosed machine. Yeah. And it also sands very well. It pretty yeah, much really sands like finish, wood. Yeah. So uh, th those guys need to remove the layer lines and this kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's pretty good for that. Okay, superb. That's really good. Look forward to... And um, um, uh, sand core tooling as well. We've got a customer in the States doing a lot of sand core tooling with it sand core for the tooling. casting industry. So oh, okay. you make a... 3D printed part, and then mm -hmm. you 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 put that in sand, right? And then and then that creates so that your casting mould, yeah. Right, cool. Right, superb, Gavin. That's really good of you. Well, thank, thank you very, you much, very much, much for coming down, taking this time. And uh, anybody who's uh, interested in uh, having some of this material, then uh, drop us a message in the comments section, and, um, and if we'll I be could. in touch with you. Make one plug if you're still on. Of course, go for it. Uh, so I'm trying to get a Facebook group going called 3D Print My Ride for anyone who's <laughs> interested in 3D printing of car parts or things to do with cars. I, I think it's an underexplored subject. I think it's certainly um, growing. There's a few people, as we said at the beginning of this video, yeah. who actually deal with um, car parts, whether it's um, uh, casting or whether it's actually do um, printing parts for their... Uh, own vehicles so yeah i think if you start that particular group i'm sure that it was going to get some traction but you'll have to let us know what it is and uh, is that the full link yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's, so it's a facebook already? group yeah called yeah. 3d print my ride all right 3D 3D print my ride yeah. My, yeah. Right, <laughs> my ride, yeah. print my ride. superb all right gavin that is great thanks Thank very you. much it's good of you